360 Virtual Home Tours by Sam. I am Sam Dorfman, and we're going to discuss Zoom hosting of a home tour versus Zoom hosting of a open house. Uh, the general methodology uh, may look the same, but there's a lot of differences. So we're going to go through the differences uh, right now. So let's uh, see what we have here. And I'm going into a uh, particular listing on the MLS. And it doesn't matter what a listing it is or anything. Just wanted to show you that uh, when someone wants to see a house, uh, they've usually uh, contacted uh, a broker uh, either at that point in time, uh, or they have one already. Uh, they might have a broker who actually found the property for them. But whatever, they want to set up a time to see the property and uh, go through it uh, live. Uh, but they're not going to see it live. So uh, the broker goes and uh, he goes uh, to this point here where it says showing on the listing information. And there's a spot that says schedule a showing. And I'm not going to click on it. But when they click on it, it gives all sorts of information about the property directions, how to get there. Uh, you open time slots that can be chosen, things of that nature. So in there, uh, we can specify that this is uh, going to be a virtual tour. And uh, they can take it or leave it. Uh, but uh, if I'm going to insist on a virtual tour, then uh, they're going to uh, need to agree to it, uh, which means they will not go to the property. Uh, they will see it uh, from their own uh, computers, uh, hopefully a desktop. Uh, which has uh, a webcam. Uh, if not, uh, they can do a, uh, a desktop. Uh, it's got its own uh, microphone and camera built in. So that's the process that's, that goes on. Um, if it was going to be a open house, uh, then at the bottom of the screen here, we have something that says open house and tour information. And again, ignore what I have here, but uh, that would uh, be information about uh, the time slot. Uh, this has a time slot, but it doesn't mention uh, here that it's a, a, a virtual tour. Uh, but we'll go now to the actual editing of the listing information. And I'm going to go there. So here's where the, uh, the listing broker puts all the information about a property. And in particular, uh, he has information for showing and information uh, for uh, uh, open houses. So under the showing, uh, it says showing method and in-person and live video. And I can change that to be live video only. Okay, now it could be live video, uh, could be a 360 model, uh, but uh, if it's gonna be a 360 model, uh, we'll have to uh, contact them, but they're expecting something. 
and they're expecting not to go to the house. And uh, listing contract type as the agent and agent name and a phone number. And of course, they're going to have to call that phone number and uh, everything will be explained to them. So that's that. Uh, now, open houses is another animal. Uh, we can schedule an open house. And when we schedule the open house, uh, with the open house type, uh, that's broker and public, that doesn't matter. Uh, open house access type. Okay. So again, here we'd put uh, agent and uh, under open house remarks, uh, we could, uh, we have the start time and the end time, which, which will be uh, the start time and end time of the open house. And then open house remarks, uh, we would put in there that uh, th this is a virtual tour and uh, we'll actually uh, start a Zoom, we'll schedule a Zoom uh, a meeting or webinar for that time slot. And, uh, and so we will actually put the meeting information uh, or better yet, the best thing to do is to put in the link to the meeting and uh, these people would uh, have to go there on time to see the open house. Uh, if they come in during the meeting, uh, we can let them in or not. Uh, but if they're in the middle of a 360 tour, it'd be a little disrupting. Okay. So that's all we want to know about the listing information. And uh, let's leave the uh, uh, this thing all together and go back to stop sharing. All right. So now we've put into the listing information uh, how someone can contact us for a home tour and also information uh, that we want as many as we want of uh, uh, the open houses. So once that's in there uh, for the uh, home tour, uh, we've chosen a particular time and uh, the uh, uh, buyer's uh, agent and the buyer are going to meet us at that time on the internet uh, in a Zoom meeting. And uh, so what we do is we get to the, that site a little early. Uh, we put in information uh, that is apropos to that property. Uh, in particular, if we're doing a 360 uh, model, then we put the model uh, on a web page, uh, or I should say, we set up the, a web page uh, with that model. And we also uh, uh, might set up. Uh, information say from the MLS about the property in case any questions are asked. And uh, so we get there a little early, we set that up before opening the Zoom meeting. And uh, then we open the Zoom meeting and we invite the, uh, the people who are gonna be attending, which could be a few people, it could be a couple of buyers and of course the uh, uh, the uh, buyer's uh, agent and uh, maybe some relatives and we allow them into the meeting. We invite them into the meeting uh, via email. They click on their email and they're in the meeting uh, entrance. We let them in. Uh, we make sure that uh, they are uh, 
unmuted so they can talk and uh, hopefully uh, they have cameras but they don't have to um, but we want to be able to hear them uh, so they should have a mic available and I uh, say we got there early uh, so uh, the first thing that we do once uh, we open the meeting before we even invite them is we check out uh, our mark and our camera and uh, again we should probably do it from a desktop with a webcam uh, but if not like you do it uh, with a laptop so now they've been invited uh, they get in and then uh, we introduce ourselves and then uh, we do a uh, I do a share screen and I open the model and uh, show them uh, through the property. Uh, again, they're not muted, so they can talk, ask questions. That'll slow it down a little bit. But we have, uh, with the cheap Zoom account, we have 40 minutes. And that should be more than enough time to go through the property. Um, so that's, again, that's the uh, Zoom hosting of a, uh, a home tour. If we're gonna do an open house, uh, then we gotta get all these people in and we got them there by invitation. Uh, they, uh, we gave them a link uh, uh, so that they can uh, click on that link at the appropriate time and uh, we can even schedule a, um, a warning uh, half an hour or an hour before the meeting uh, to warn them to come in and to warn them to be on time. And uh, when they come in, uh, I assume there's gonna be a lot of people and we're gonna mute them. So the only way they're gonna be able to ask questions is with the chat box. Now, in both types of tours, in the chat box, uh, I can put uh, the URL for the model so that later on, after they've been to the uh, home tour or the open house, they can uh, go through it again at their own leisure uh, any time, day or night. But this time we walk them through and they get a feel for how to go through a tour. So that's it. Uh, come back. I've got two videos on uh, an actual hosting uh, where I'm not emphasizing uh, either uh, type of tour. I'm just showing how you go through those models. And uh, so I have one. Uh, for the Zillow 3D home. And I have another one uh, for Matterport uh, with full function uh, tours all set up. Uh, I may do other uh, 360 models later on, but that's all for now. So uh, subscribe, come on back. Uh, the uh, videos will be there waiting for you to see how Zoom hosting uh, looks live, even though it's not live. <laughs>